<clears throat> okay. Again, these accounting titles are the terms used to identify the specific elements of accounting, of course, to be used in the recording process. So these titles will help you in the recording steps or process in accounting. So, of course, you should appropriately identify uh, the necessary or correct terms or titles uh, for recording phase because uh, they are to be brought forward in the accounting reports. These titles are to be used for you to accurately record or properly uh, select or find proper or appropriate terms in every recording. So if there are wrong accounts, if there are wrong titles na nagamit the users of accounting reports, uh, the management, the uh, government, those are the users of accounting reports. Of course, they will have to mis uh, mislead and of course, consequently will lead you to wrong decisions. Okay. So you should uh, always or properly consider this accounting titles. Yan lahat yan. And so with, of course, the titles with the other accounts. Liabilities. So if you are to select ano yung mga um, Accounting titles under assets, yung code dyan is that all of the resources, lahat ng nagagamit. At pagmamayari ng business are all assets. Okay? Um, lahat ng items, lahat ng uh, may value. Ultimo, uh, eraser, pins, thumb tax, yung mga small things, those are all assets. Even the um, uh, current assets na katulad ng mga buildings, property, uh, land, building, those are all assets. And then, yung code naman, para madali nyo may classify kapag liabilities, yun ay may mga term na payable. Payables. Ayan. As you can see, ayan yun. May mga payables kapag liability. Kasi when we say liability, again, these are obligations that the entity owes to other parties or to other uh, businesses din. Okay? Obligations niya sa ibang mga business pa. Sa ibang mga parties involved business. Katulad ng mga suppliers, hindi pa uh, paid yung total amount na kailangan niyang bayaran. So, meron kang payables. Meron kang obligations to other parties. Okay. Yung kanina, assets, merong mga receivables na term. And meron din lahat ng mga items or mga current assets. Okay. Mga tangible na tinatawag. Tangible assets. Those that can be seen and touched. Okay? Lahat yon assets. And then, pag equity naman, this two lang naman ang title under owner's equity. Kasi again, when we say equity, these are, uh, if we use the equation, the difference between Pag dineduct yung liability to asset, from asset, rather, makukuha nyo, malalaman nyo yung total share 
ng owner sa business. Yun ay tinatawag na equity. Owner's equity. Meron kasing share si owner sa business. Yung sarili niyang pera, sarili niyang property, iniin, dinadagdag niya sa business niya. So yung total portion ng owner's uh, property, it is called equity. When we say revenue naman, of course, these are sales, sales of goods, uh, sales of services um, to the customers and clients. These are gross revenue. These are the, um, the amount or the money received from the customers or clients. Yun ay tinatawag na revenue. Mga payments ng customer and clients. Matawag doon revenue. Of course, hindi lang revenue. Yung, yung buong revenue ay maiuuwi or yun yung kabuang kita nyo. No. We have to always have, syempre, ang expenses. So when we say expenses naman, these are mga costs. Operating costs of the entity due to operation or operating the business. So merong cost of operating the business. Idededak nyo lahat ng dinastos in the business. Ito lahat yun. Lahat ng taxes. Yan, idededak nyo yan sa total revenue nyo. Kapag nag-advertise kayo or nag-promote kayo ng products nyo or ng business name nyo, ide-deduct lahat ng advertising expenses, may pasweldo kayo sa mga employees nyo, kahit na maliit lang yung business, um, you should uh, pay your employees pa rin or yung mga helpers or workers uh, properly kailangan na babayaran sila ng tama. Pag nagsisweldo kayo sa mga empleyado nyo or workers, that will be considered as your expense. Okay? Yung kanilang salaries and wages. Ano pa? mag i kayo, additional supply sa business, may babayaran kayo, expense din yun. Kuryente, telephone, internet, these are utilities expense. Kapag nag-rent lang ang business, bayad din yun, expense din yun, additional cost. Kapag may mga kailangan bilihin, okay, tools, expense din yun. Depreciation expense, let's say yung asset nyo, hindi na yon yung talagang value ng asset. Let's say vehicle, due to usage, bumababa ang value ng isang vehicle. Pag bumababa ang value ng isang vehicle, tinatawag yun na depreciation expense. Nagli-depreciate yung value ng sasakyan. Okay? Yung nababawas na value doon sa asset or doon sa sasakyan, example, ay expense ng business. Binabawas yun. So, example. Bigyan ko kayo example. Kapag bumili ako ng vehicle, a certain vehicle, gagamitin natin siya for delivery. Uh, vehicle or delivery van. Let's say, at first, we bought this certain vehicle to um, 1 million pesos. 1 million pesos. Ito yung total value ng vehicle at first, nung binili natin siya. As time goes by, let's say, Every month, nagde-depreciate o lumiliit yung value ng sasakyan na yan. What are the reasons kung bakit nagde-depreciate o lumiliit yung value? Hindi na 1 million yung value ng sasakyan na yan after a month, after a month, after a month, or after a year. Okay. Yung value na ng sasakyan na yan, after a month, hindi na 1 million. Let's say, nag-depreciate ng 50,000 pesos. Lumiit yung value. 
per month. 50,000. Therefore, let's say binili natin to ngayong September. The 13 vehicle na 1 million pesos. Pagdating ng October, magkano na lang ang value ng vehicle? It's 950,000 pesos na lang. By the end of October. Bakit? Kasi lahat ng assets, lahat ng um, tangible assets nagde-depreciate. Lumiliit yung value. Hindi, pagdating ng October, hindi na 1 million ang value ng sasakyan. Bakit? Due to usage, dahil ginagamit siya, and then marami rin yung naglalabasan na ng mga mas magaganda pa ang mga uh, for delivery van or mga sasakyan, mga vehicle nagde-depreciate, lumiliit na yung value. Therefore, by October, 950,000 pesos na lang ang value ng sasakyan. Meron ba, merong um, formula for that. Okay. So, therefore, kapag dating ng October, ah, sorry, ng November, nag-depreciate ulit ng another 50,000 pesos per month, 900,000 pesos na lang. Lumiliit ng lumiliit yung value ng sasakyan. Nakuha niya class kung ano yung depreciation. Ayan. Every month, lumiliit yung value na ng sasakyan. The only asset na hindi na de depreciate ay land. Okay? Hindi na de detect ang depreciation ng land. Other lands are appreciated. Lum tumataas pa yung value. Hindi na de depreciate. Ayan. Therefore, yung mga tag 50,000 na nababawas na uh, value na lumiliit dun sa total amount ay tinatawag na depreciation expense. Okay? Yung depreciation, tandaan nyo, ay isang expense account. Okay? It is an expense account. Insurance expense, meron kayong babayaran ng mga interest in insurance, those are expenses. Iba yung prepaid ha, iba yung prepaid. Prepaid is an asset. Okay, basta may nakikita kayong prepaid, asset yan agad. Kahit may term siya na expense, basta may term na prepaid. Okay, prepaid, those are assets. Pero as you can see, meron yan mga taxes and licenses expense. Advertising expense, you will not uh, be confused kasi merong expense na term sa title. Okay? Bad debts. Bad debts expense. Ayan, bad debts expense. Ano ba yung bad debts expense? So, yung bad debts expense are expenses um, that the client or customers Cannot, uh, cannot pay the, a certain amount anymore. Example. Ano ba itong bad expense? Kunyari, si Miss Alisa ay uh, customer ko ng aking mga perfume. Okay? okay? Merong 500 pesos ulit na perfume akong binibenta kay Miss Alisa per bottle. Okay? Let's say, regular customer ko siya, 500 pesos. Ang kada order niya sa akin, let's say, 50 bottles din. 50 bottle, 50 pieces of bottle. So, meron akong revenue sa kanya na 25,000 pesos. Yeah, minultiply ko lang siya. Multiply. Okay, 25,000 pesos. Ang nabayanan pa lang ni Alisa, let's say, 20,000 pesos. 20,000 pesos pa lang ang earnings ko kay Alisa. Okay? 20,000 pesos. The other 5,000 pesos, ang sabi ni Alisa, I cannot pay that 5,000 pesos anymore. Hindi na daw niya kaya bayaran yung 5,000 pesos. Okay?
this 5,000 pesos will now be called bad debts. Okay? Instead, na dapat ang tawag ko dito sa another 5,000 pesos ay revenue, but since the customer or client cannot pay that 5,000 pesos, 5,000 pesos anymore, she cannot pay it anymore. Okay? Hindi ko na matatanggap itong 5,000 pesos as be um, my revenue or my income. Ayan. Ire-record ko na to 5,000 pesos as bad debts. Kasi hindi ko na matatanggap siya. Um, Dineclare na ng customer ng client na hindi niya na kaya bayaran yung 5,000 pesos. Ayan. So itong 5,000 pesos na to, ang tawag na dito, bad debts. Utang na siya na hindi na mababayaran. Okay? Katulad ng mga sa banko, ganyan. Kapag... Um, nag-loan ka sa banko and then dumating yung time na konti pa lang yung nabayaran natin sa banko. Let's say kalahati ng napahiram sa atin ng bank. The other uh, balance or the remaining balance na hindi na natin kaya bayaran, i-record yun ng banko as our, as their, rather as their bad debts. Therefore, expense sa kanila yun, kabawasan sa kanilang kikita bad debts expense. Those are bad debts. Okay, nakuha yung bad debts expense. Pag dumating na yung time na yung mga customers or clients hindi na nababayaran yun sa kanilang mga supplier o sa mga businesses, ayan, um, Ano yun? Kabawasan yun sa kanilang kita. Ayan. Um, ang title na nire-record ng mga businesses para doon sa certain utang na yun ay bad debts. Ano na siya? Parang um, eh, um, uh, lugi na siya. It's because um, that 5,000 supposed to be is a revenue but hindi na hindi na siya rin, expense na siya. Napunta na siya sa expense. And then, this one, miscellaneous expense. Ano naman yung miscellaneous expense? This miscellaneous expense ay mga ano lang, uh, minor expenses na nag-arise. Let's say, kakailanganin ng um, dagdag na um, um May nasira lang na tools, kakailanganin ng a certain parts. Ayun, yung mga bigla ang gastos. Yun ay miscellaneous expense. Let's say, uh, bibili ng water for the employees. Yung mga ganun lang, mga mabilisang um, gastos ay tinatawag na miscellaneous expense. Yan. Um, uh, Example pa, mga transportation expense, may biglaan kailangan na bayaran or puntahan. Ayan. Those are miscellaneous expense. Basta lahat ng gastos in the business, the cost of doing business, those are a deductions. It is called expense. So, I have... Um, short secret for you. Short secret. So I have here a short seat work. 
Ayan. For discussion natin yan para mas lalo nyo maintindihan. Ayan. Ayan natin. Maliit na. Ayan. Please get your notebooks. Kahit yung MacBook nyo na lang, tapos lagyan nyo na lang ng code doon sa gilid. Pwede rin naman yan ihalo. MacBook. Para hindi na nakaseparate yung uh, general mathematics nyo to an elective mathematics. Pagsamahin nyo na lang. Lagyan nyo lang code ng book using. So, two or four. True or false na lang yan, class. Ha? No need to explain. True or false lang.
Miss Donaire, you can also check our GC. Sinend ko din doon yung seatweight. Okay, let's try checking. Okay, for number one, the cut of date refers to the date as of which transactions of the preceding accounting period are separated from those of the next. So basically, that's the purpose of having an accounting period, meaning you're going to cut the amount or the ending amount in preparation for the coming accounting period. Let's say yung sinabi ko na accounting period daily, uh, pag close na ng store or pag close na ng shop at the end of the day, yung last amount na na-compute at the end of the or the closing that will be carried over to the next day okay therefore yung cut of date refers to the date as of which transactions to the preceding accounting period are separated so therefore separate um, date on the previous and for tomorrow or the next day's uh, period or um, time, ganun siya, or date, separated. Therefore, for number one, it is true. Okay. Laging separate. Yun yung purpose ng accounting period. Di ba? Merong monthly, mayroong quarterly, and then yearly or annually. Ayan. 
tineseparate yung lahat ng mga amounts or mga um, events or transaction on that accounting period alone. Next, number two, in accordance with the business entity concept, all transactions now of sole proprietorship, either business or personal, are recorded on business records. True or false? True. For number two, the answer is true. So business, of course, kasi the owner, syempre, siya yung... Um, nagpapatakbo ng business. Whereas, kapag personal naman, kasi si owner ay meron siyang part or portion ng shiner niya in the business. Kaya either the, of the two, business or personal, those, are, those two are always recorded on business records. Kahit personal. Kasi may portion lang. Hindi yung personal as in kahit na hindi niya senior sa business, nire-record hindi. Yung mga senior lang niya na personal things in the business. Yun lang yung mga nire-records. And of course, syempre business. And then for number three, aside from cash, na 200,000 pesos daw. Si Abe Dominion owns a house and lot and a car all worth 500,000 pesos. In-invest niya yung 150,000 pesos in a car repair shop. Okay? His equity in the business must be 700,000 pesos. Again, aside from cash. Therefore, itong cash na to, kasi sabi aside from cash, automatically, this cash is included, invested in the business, 200,000. Okay. Sabi, Abe Dominion owns a house and lot and a car all worth 500,000 pesos. So, hindi minention na itong house and lot niya and a car na worth 500,000 is invested in the business. Okay, therefore, hindi lahat yan i-record sa business. Yung in-invest lang niya ang i-record natin sa business. Ito yon. He invest 150,000 in a car repair shop. Kung magkano lang yung sinabi sa transaction na in-invest niya na amount, yun lang ang i-record. 150,000. Therefore, his equity in the business must be, is it 700,000 pesos? Hindi po. 200,000 pesos at 150,000 pesos lang. Total amounting to 350,000 pesos. Nakuha. Ibig sabihin, although meron siyang property amounting to 500,000 pesos, Hindi naman yon lahat in-invest niya sa business. Kung magkano lang yung in-invest or portion ng owner sa business na in-invest niya, yun lang ang i -re record On this example, ang in-invest niya, 200,000 pesos at 150,000 pesos ang in-invest niya. Meron namang clue eh, may keyword yan ito, invest. At syempre, of course, merong yung term na aside. Maliban daw sa cash. Okay, maliban daw sa cash na 200,000 pesos. So automatically the 200,000 pesos is included. 200,000 pesos. So, and 150 pesos ay investment. Therefore, the answer for number 3 ay false. Okay, for number 4, when revenue exceeds expenses, there is net profit. When revenue exceeds expenses, there is net profit. Tapos, ang reverse naman, in a refer reverse case, okay, there is net loss. True. Every time na mas malaki yung revenue or yung kita ng business than yung ginagastos niya, of course, there is net profit. Kung baliktad naman daw, if it is in reverse, mas mataas ang expenses than the revenue, then there is net loss. 
lugi. Okay, next, number five. The owner's equity is positive when liabilities exceed assets. This time, liabilities are higher. Tama? Di ba? Yun yung sabi. Magiging positive ang owner's equity daw kung liabilities ay mas mataas. False. For number five. Dapat laging mas mataas ang value ng assets. Di ba? Assets equals liabilities plus equity. Or positive daw ito. Therefore, dapat mas mataas yung asset para maging positive yung equity. Next, number six. Obtaining a loan from a bank is an example of an external event. O, external event ba yung pag-loan sa banko? True. For number six, it is true. External event po ang other bank or other um, party. External event. For number seven, purposes of preparing financial statements. The life of a business is divided into accounting periods. True or false? True. For number seven, true. Please check your own work. Recorded yan ha? Recorded. Next, number eight, the bookkeeper analyzes transactions from the point of view of the owners. Again, the, a bookkeeper analyzes transactions from the point of view ng owners. Owner or business? Point of view. Kanina dapat siya ang bookkeeper nag-analyze ng transaction. Is it on the point of view ng business or on the point of view ng owner? On the point of view ng business. Di ba merong business entity concept? So, for... On the point of view, dapat ng business. Next, number nine. Payment of salaries to employees is an internal event daw. Internal event pa daw ang payment to salaries. Payment to salaries. Let's try, Frederich. True or false for number nine? Is it true or false for number nine? Uh... False. Correct. It is false. The payment of salaries to employees is an external event. External event. It involves other parties outside the business, although employees yun. It is an external event. And for number 10, let's try Cybel. For number 10, despite having realized a net profit daw, there may be a decrease in the owner's equity if withdrawals exceed the net profit. True or false? Try lang siya. Sabi dito, sabi dito, despite having realized a net profit, oh, meron ka daw net profit, meron ka ng kininta. So there may be a decrease in the owner's equity. If withdrawals exceed the net profit. So every time meron kitang business, merong in increase sa owner's equity. Kasi nadadagdagan yung earnings. Merong earnings. So every time merong net profit, merong increase in the owner's equity. If withdrawals exceed the net profit. So, for this one, the answer is false. 
dapat increase, hindi decrease. Kapag may net profit, mayroong increase. Kapag baliktad naman, pag net loss naman ang result, pag net loss ang result, decrease. Okay, lugi ang owner's equity. Mababa, bababa ang owner's equity. Okay. What's this, Mr. Fredrich? Ano tong shinir mo? Mr. Fredrich, what is, what is this? Na pwede i-download? Baka virus or scam? What's this? <laughs> Ano tong sinet niya, class? Ano to? <laughs> Is this your score, Mr. Friedrich? What's this? Uh, my score is five. Um, that's yes. Ah, okay. So this is your score. Sige, pakisenda lang yung score. So that will be 10 points. Seven over 10. Sige, Escobar is seven. Wait lang, baka mag-end na si Sir. 7, Santos, 8. Sige, pakisend na lang. Sige, para hindi na kayo mag-messenger dito sa chat na lang. Okay. Next. Okay. Next. Yan. Before I end ni Sir Amor, go. And. Okay. Sino pa po? Okay, how about Filian Weba? Is he here? No, wala siya. Okay. How about Miss Donaire? Ayan, senda lang siya. And Redridge. Okay. I'll see you again on Monday, class. Good luck on your test. Summative test. Ingat kayo. Bye.